Hey, so on this video, I want to talk about how do we handle patients who just expect hands-on treatment and just want to lie in the bed for the full session. Hey, Dave O'Sullivan here. So I just want to shoot a quick video to show you how we handle these patients who come in and they just expect to lie on the bed and get massage, okay? Or they just want hands-on treatment for the full session. And ultimately, that for me is a problem that's happened in the initial assessment. So in the mentorship, we, we always recommend therapists that we set expectations from the, from the get-go. Honesty is the best policy, okay? And just be honest about everything. If you smell an objection, just address it. You know, there, there's absolutely no point in understanding or being aware there's an objection there and just, just tolerating it because ultimately no one's going to get the result they want. So what I would do in this case with these patients, and this is what we really cover, um, we really work hard in module one with this is right, actually understanding what the patient's problems are. So remember, the patient comes to you with back pain, but ultimately they're coming in, what motivated them to come into the clinic is because they've got a problem. That back pain is affecting their life. What's it affecting? And that's really where we need to list X, Y, and Z, okay? What is it that you want to be able to get back to? And you as a therapist, you need to be clear on that after the subjective assessment, because that then is going to guide you in the objective assessment. So rather than just doing the same objective assessment with everybody, you may need to look at some stuff with this patient, because this is what they need to be able to get back to. Because ultimately they're here, they've got a problem, there's some obstacles, there's some movement uh, adaptations after happening, they've developed some movement behaviors, some strategies that were useful short term that aren't useful anymore that we have to undo, okay? And you have to help them be successful doing X, Y, and Z. So what I would do in that scenario is I go, right, this is what you can't do, this is what you wanna do. Is that absolutely correct? Okay, so then what you wanna do is you wanna draw out, okay, well, here is, the plan, okay, so after you do the objective assessment, here's the plan, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is obviously the hands-on treatment will help us with that, but the hands-on treatment is only gonna ever let, allow you to tolerate such um, a certain amount of loads. So I usually say this is how hard your muscles have to work, okay? And when you want to do X, Y, or Z, which might be gardening, or it might be, you know, lifting the kids, or uh, doing whatever it is, this is how much your muscles have to work. So where you are now at the moment is here. So unless we can get you from here to here to here, then ultimately the body is just gonna go back to the old movement habits. Now what we will do with this scenario with this patient is I will say to them, are you happy just to lie on the bed for half an hour and get massage? Or do you actually genuinely and honestly want to get back to this because if you're going to want to get back to this then you're going to need to go through these progressions which would you rather would you rather just a massage or would you rather get this stuff sorted and you have to ask the question now we how we break this down how we explain it we do it in a very logical step-by-step -step manner okay so i wouldn't just do it how i've done it there but i just want you to understand the thought process of it but above all else, I would address the elephant in the room with the patient and I would say, do you just want the massage or do you want to actually get back to X, Y, or Z? Because if you want to get back to X, Y, and Z, massage isn't going to get you there. It'll give you some short-term relief, but the problem will come back again because ultimately your muscles are tolerating load here. If you want to be able to do X, Y, and Z, they need to be able to tolerate load at this level or this is how hard they need to be able to work so again you just show the patient this is where they are this is where they need to get back to and you ask them the question okay if you have patients in at the moment you haven't done this in the initial assessment then they are a little bit trickier but you just ask the question if you don't mind me asking john it seems like you just want uh, just some hands-on massage now i can do that but ultimately that's just gonna be a massage. If you wanna get back to X, Y, or Z, you need to earn the right to progress to these. You need to, your muscles need to be able to tolerate loading at these levels, okay? So when you're doing this, when you're doing that, when you're doing that, your muscles can actually work as part of the team. And again, we draw out some very simple diagrams in the mentorship so that patients can see this clearly and logically. But ultimately the patient needs to see 
This is where they are. This is where they need to get back to. This is what massage is, is gonna do. Now, if your patient just wants massage, that's absolutely fine. But then what you're not gonna do is you're not gonna stress, you're not gonna worry, okay, when the patient comes back in next week and say, oh, the pain's still the same. Because if the pain's still the same and they're expecting massage and you're giving them massage, but you know that they need this, then you need to take responsibility for that. That's on you. And you might not like hearing that, but you have to realize that. If your patient wants to get back to hair, this is what they need, but you're just giving them massage because you think that's what they want, then, you know, whose fault is that? Because ultimately the patients come to you because they've got a problem and they want to get back to this. If the patients just come for a massage and they say to you, look, I know I need to do all that. I don't want that. I just want to come for a 30 minute massage or an hour massage a week and I want that. I want to feel good for 10 minutes and then I want to go home and be in pain again. That's all I want. If that's all I want, then, then you send them for a massage. But you're not going to have all of this um, stress. You're not going to be doubting yourself, all this frustration then, because you've addressed the big elephant in the room. So I think that's really, really important to understand. Set the expectations from the initial assessment. Go through logically the problem so that they can see why massage isn't going to be the answer. And then if they're still demanding massage, then you address the big elephant in the room. But if you don't address the big elephant in the room, then that's on you as a therapist. Don't be blaming the patient that the patient just wants massage. Does the patient just want massage and you've never actually told them what the actual plan is in place? Have you actually told the patient what they need to be able to do to get the X, Y, or Z? Have you even discussed what X, Y, or Z is? Do you even know what X, Y, and Z, Z is? And that all happens in the subjective assessment and then we get deeper into it in the objective and then we explain the problem to the patient and the solution. And when you do that, this whole thing about massage, it, it disappears. In the clinic, our hands-on treatment, it, it probably lasts a minute or two, they're back up, they're doing something, they're back, we're retesting, they might go back on the bed again, they're up and down throughout the session. There's no patients, unless they're having a massage, are lying on the bed for, for a half an hour at a time. So again, that's your decision, but please, please, please do not blame the patient. Now, if you want help with this, if you want to get this sorted, click on the link below. We can have a chat. We'll discuss your current situation. If we think you're a good fit for the mentorship, then um, we'll let you know. There won't be any hard selling. If you're not a good fit for the mentorship, we'll politely tell you also. And then we'll send, um, you know, we, we'll guide you there where we think that um, that might be the good next step for you. So if you're interested in getting this problem solved, click on the link below and I'll see you on the next video.